Hello techies, welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. Now, if you see over here, I'm having the elements over here as first name, last name, surname, and gender. These are all the elements which we are having under the name node. Now, I want to remove one of the element from this path. Let us assume I want to remove this surname from the element perspective. All right, how can I go ahead and do that by using Power Automate Desktop in the XML automation? There we'll use remove XML element action. So over here, what it will do, it will remove one or more XML elements by using remove XML element action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. We are having the default parameter XML document the document which are going to read from the read XML from file. And then you want to remove the XML element. We're going to provide the entire XPath over here. If you see right now, now I'm going to provide the students teachers inside that I'm going to give students inside that I will provide student a name and there I am going to give the particular path over here as a surname. All right. In the export query, I'm going to provide the same over here, students, teachers, slash students, and the nodes I'm going to give till name. And then what is the element we want to remove? We want to remove the surname, a element name. All right, let's click on save. Once the XML element has been removed from the XML document, it will stores inside the XML document flow variable itself. And then we're going to write again in the XML that is students and teachers dot XML by using write XML to file. And then finally we'll display a message saying as flow has been executed. All right, let's run the flow to see the output for the remove XML element action. Flow execution has been started and you can see flow has been very fastly has been executed successfully. Now let me show you the original XML over here till now you can see the surname. Once you will refresh it, you can find the updated XML over here. If you see previously I had surname over here right now it has been removed. All right. By using remove XML element action. All right. Now, if you see, I have removed only one of the element over here, but I want to remove all the elements which are there inside the node of the name. How can I go ahead and do that? There, I'm directly going to give the node over here as students, teachers, and the students over here. I'm not, I want to remove all the elements so that I will specify over here as store, and then I'm going to click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output to remove all the elements in the particular node. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully. Let's click on OK. Now once again, let's refresh it to see the output of the XML. Now if you see over here, inside the name, I don't have any elements over here because of we have specified as store inside the remove XML element action. All right. Now I will show you another way to remove all the elements which are available in the particular node. Now, if you see in my XML, I'm having address also inside that I'm having different elements like street, city, email and phone. Now I want to remove all at a time. How can I go ahead and do that here? I'm not going to give the star over here. I'm just going to mentioning the node over here as address and the inside that I'm not going to mention slash star. I'm not going to give anything over here. All right, let's click on save and let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see flow has been executed successfully. Let's click on. OK. Now let's refresh once again the XML. If you observe over here, I have removed the entire address itself and then you know previously we had the name with the node that's why it has been replaced over here. If you observe the entire address node has been removed over here by using remove XML element action. I hope you understand how to remove an attribute by using remove XML element attribute action as part of the XML automation.
and also we have seen how to remove an element by using remove xml element action and also we have seen how to remove multiple elements by using remove xml element action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day